everyone. <laughs> no, I'm just doing this. What was Do that? <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am here with Claudia Cloud. Thank you very much. Who I feel like is a little mysterious. Everybody wants to know about you. Ooh, the gossip is coming out. Yes. Claudia just relaunched her channel, which is very exciting. She used to make YouTube videos back in the day. Mm -hmm. She's relaunched it. So before you get into this video, make sure you head over to her channel. It's linked down below. And subscribe and check out her videos because she is a beauty queen. She's super funny and she's my best friend. So check it out. I'm not crying on a this video. <laughs> You're just cutting onions down there? Yeah. <laughs> just making fire. <laughs> Anytime Claudia and I mm -hmm. um, make any sort of content together, like on Instagram or whatever, we post pictures and stuff, we get so many comments and questions. And when we went to the Maldives together... Yeah. <laughs> We got a lot of questions and we decided maybe we should just do a QA and a and put, put a few of these rumors to rest or start more. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have these questions. I haven't shown them to you and I haven't even really looked through them, but here are some questions. so organized. Yes. How did we meet? I invited Este for a press appointment she actually used me for my dog she needed content for her vlog and I had a really cute puppy at a time he's a grown dog now he's an adult um he's about this big by the way yeah um so we met and honestly the from the moment I sat down we clicked you guys should know when she says press appointment mm -hmm. Claudia works in PR that's it so I'm a PR manager to a skincare brand which Esther uses. I haven't met her since I started, so I thought it was a nice day to catch up and kind of talk about the skincare brand, but also we just instantly became these insane, crazy friends. Yeah, it's really funny because I don't know if you had like emailed me before to hang out. I think so. Blanked me. I don't take a lot of PR mm. meetings. Yeah. I don't know if you guys even would care about that, but I don't have the time usually to kind of like go for breakfast and meet somebody face to face and learn about a brand. Like I, I, you know, it's time consuming. It is. It's time consuming. So I, it's not something I normally really do these days. Um, so when she emailed me, she's like, Hey, I want to take you out for breakfast and tell you all about the brand. I was like, well, I already know about the brand cause I love the brand. I've actually attached a photo of my dog in the email. I'm pretty sure. You did. I did. <laughs> Exactly. And Perfect. she's like, I have a cute dog or something like that so I can bring him. And I was like, well, <laughs> now you're talking. So your dog really did it. Yeah, I know. Best investment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I I came. It was during Vlogtober. I'll link to that vlog down below. That was the first time we ever met was in I October. I can't believe that. It feels like I've known you for at least seven years. At least. What? Why seven? I don't know. It's a good number. Good number. It's a lucky number. So we had breakfast in Chelsea and mm -hmm. we, I arrived. Was I late or was I on time? You were on time. Bang on. And I sat down and it was like instant, like what? Yeah. It was, I feel like we started a conversation with a sigh and we're like, hey, hey. so how are we doing today? How and are was, we doing? It was the best, honestly. My favorite press appointment because it was just so real. We talked a lot about the brand. <laughs> <laughs> we did talk a lot about the brand, but we also, you know, when you do press appointments, obviously you're talking about the brand, but you can't spend like two hours talking mm -hmm. only about skincare. There's some small talk in there. And in yeah. our case, all the small talk was about boys and how exhausting <laughs> life as a single woman can be especially when you look like this so we just had a really good time and then i feel like we met up again the next week we had pizza day pizza night with all the girls on the sunday Where? oh no we had a take at yours we had a takeout Esther invited me and like six other friends and i've met a lot of different girls there. That's i met right. louisa so we had a takeout of I, some sort. I told them, come over, I'm going to cook you all dinner, but I don't cook, so I ordered ping pong. The first pong. thing we got That's was, what it was. Yeah, that ping pong. But the first thing she said to me is like, okay, so should we get food? And I was like, yes, there's my phone. Yeah. 
pick. So I was like, choose whatever you want. I'm, this is how I cook. So then we've just kind of like stayed in touch and yeah. became really good friends. Yeah. A lot of people know that you're Polish and want to discuss that. Yes. And people want to know if your parents moved to the UK or where were you born and okay. when are we going to Poland? Oh my God, I hope soon. So I'm fully Polish. My mom and dad are fully Polish. I'm from a small town in Poland called Hodges. It's honestly, it's like this big. I've been getting so many messages from all of the Polish followers, which is insane. I didn't re really realize how many of you there are. Um, but yeah, that's me. Cool. I think it's time to bring up the New Year's kiss. was 2018 and it was going into 2019 yes so okay let's recap we're single yeah we have you know like we try to date but there's nobody when you have a kiss on a midnight from 2018 to 2019 which 2018 was a year and we wanted to ring it in as like exactly how we want to like you need to set your intentions the minute you cross that bridge yeah and you want to pass it with the person that you love the most. And honestly, there's nobody else that I wanted to kiss on this dance floor. Yeah, I felt the same. Day. We planned it. We That's who I wanted to kiss. I was like, this is it. This is, this is it. If you don't kiss your friends, you're not friends. That's how I feel. Yeah. So besides all that, we did that. And then we get a lot... Uh, of messages. Of messages asking if we're dating and saying that we are the hottest couple. She wishes. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, Claudia will not date me. No. I've tried. It's a handful. <laughs> Can't do it. No, we're just friends. Yeah. We're just friends. But I almost like we don't didn't even want to address it just yeah. because it's like first of all, it's nobody's business anyway. True. And second of all, like I don't know. It's just a lot of speculation and it was just like on every single picture so we yeah. thought we would address it but no, we are not exactly. we are not dating. My dad himself has asked me if me and Este were dating because of all the comments and I had to have a conversation with my dad who I speak on a daily basis that no dad I do not have a girlfriend I'm still single yeah so just to let you all know we're just really close yeah. okay what's your favorite trip that you've been on together obviously Maldives obviously the Maldives I honestly want to say every trip is a journey and is the best trip <laughs> We travel a lot together. Yeah. We're always in New York at the same time. Yeah. And we didn't plan this. No. So I'm here for work and play, but Estes decided to come and follow me. Obviously, you know, she's, she's here at the same time as I am. And it just kind of planned out. Or are you here at the same time as I am? No. <laughs> so yeah, the, but the Maldives was amazing. You should go watch our vlog. That trip, honestly, like it was yeah. fun from beginning to end. <laughs> um, let us see. What's your favorite way to spend a day together? The best days together is when we have some food, usually a takeout, watch some friends, and then decide to go out. That happened once. We were in bed eating pizza. It was probably... Your face mask on. Yeah. Nine o'clock at night? Ten yes. even? Yeah. And we were both just like, look, we're in New York. It's like a Saturday night. What are we thinking? Mm -hmm. um, it took us 20 minutes to get out that door. From pajamas and a face mask yeah. to full glam. Yeah. And it was amazing. Actually, this kind of brings me on to the next question, which is what is the best, like what's the quality that we love most about each other? Oh, here we go. And I'll go first. I mean, I have so many qualities I love about Cloud, but you're just so, I mean, I literally say this all the time, so she's not even going to be phased, but like she's so positive. She's so uplifting. She's so supportive and just <laughs> fun and just like a real normal down-to-earth person i mean there's so many other things oh and god she's so good at dancing <laughs> you, so many people message me for tutorials about dancing yeah i don't think okay i think about it That's dancing I'm tutorials say. i'm just gonna say it I'll, yeah. I'll think about it i'm not saying i'll do it but i'll think about that it. was one of the questions that came up it's like can claudia teach us to twerk 
I mean, I think you can't, you just have to feel it. This is not a thing that you can learn. It's, However, you did. <laughs> I cannot tour. <laughs> like, it is a thing. Oh my God. Um, now tell them what you like about me. Here we go. <laughs> this is, I know exactly why she chose this question. She is so Leo. Can I just say, we're here. I had the worst breakout on my face and I looked trash. She comes over to me. Have, you, have I even put mascara on? Have I even put concealer on today? I just look really good. I'm like... Self-love is not a crime. But sometimes just give it a rest. <laughs> <laughs> Your best quality. You are so fun. Like, I love going out with you. You are, like, the funnest person to go out with. And you don't even know how... Like, like I don't even know where to start. Like, the night out with Estee is an experience. <laughs> in, in all best ways I, I, even, I don't even feel like I'm that fun you are like I think you come alive I don't know if it's me I don't know if it's alcohol but like <laughs> what's alcohol I've never heard of it <laughs> but you are such a fun like and also can I just say she can speak to everybody she is the friendliest person to come across a taxi driver a sales assistant she can have a conversation about her life about anything I to do. everybody you're just such an open person to oh. everybody you really are just kidding me right now <laughs> why don't you like giving me compliments uh, excuse me <laughs> excuse me i tell her she's beautiful she does stunning positive just 10 out of 10 yeah she does she always wants more <laughs> <laughs> one thing i'll also say about cloud is she's really helped me come out of my shell no. because although i am a confident person sometimes getting out of my comfort zone is really hard so mm -hmm. you've helped me with that and you've also taught me that i need to up my standards in the dating world and oh god you're not wrong i just don't want to say i was right yeah i i'm i'm dating but i'm not dating she, you're not doing it right yeah for yourself oh, the guys will pay us they're not gonna watch this okay fine what do you consider your attitude towards life positive never a bad day i mean everybody has a bad day i definitely have bad days i call you crying once and twice but just positive like if something doesn't work out there will be another thing that will work out i always like it's so cheesy but i do believe that things happen for a reason and it comes with everything so if something fails, it's always a lesson. It's never like a failure per se. But I always think there's something good coming. I never have a negative mindset. Like I literally, there's something awful can happen that I was working towards to and it didn't work out. It's going to work out one day. It's true. And like I feel like sometimes I have a tendency to be a little on the low side. I can be a little negative sometimes. And I remember one day I woke up, I think we were here, and I was like, oh, I don't really want to do whatever I was going to mm -hmm. do. And, and you were instantly like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. No. And you, you just helped me flip it and reverse it. And I think a positive mindset is so helpful, although it is very hard. It is very much like fighting with yourself and trying to snap out of it. Even yeah. if you think you can't, you really can. Um, how do you help support each other within your friendship? Well, I think friendships are all about supporting each other. For sure. I mean... Some are. I think positive friendships are. True. There's different types of friendships. I think our friendship is so... Like, we are the biggest cheerleaders of our lives. Like, I've never met anybody the... I can't. I'll get emotional. Don't get emotional. Stop it. Oh my god. I can't. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm seen. No, honestly, I've... I have amazing group of friends honestly the best friends but this thing right next to me is the like she's a powerhouse what she says to me on daily basis just uplifts me honestly like she gives me the power to power through my life and like do the best she sees things i don't see in myself which is insane and like she always tells me i can do the best and i like i never thought i needed it like that kind of conversation mm. but you're honestly you're like you are this and you are that and you can do it and you are the biggest cheerleader of my life she's the reason i'm doing youtube like i didn't want to feel like there was a, there's going to be a competition but i don't feel like there is any competition between us at all like we support each other so much and it's we had fun. a really intimate chat in mm -hmm. the dubai airport in front of people in front of our other friends mm. about this and you know one of my 
biggest um, life, uh, I don't know what the word is, but you know, this is a phrase. Blowing out someone else's candle is not going to make yours burn brighter. Mm -hmm. And you know, I feel so lucky to be able to do what I do. And I'm just basically saying what I said to her. I feel so lucky to be able to do what I do. My job is amazing. You guys are amazing. Having this community around me is amazing. And I'm, I'm so much a fan of this job and it doesn't even feel like a job. So why wouldn't I want my best friend to also have that joy? Mm -hmm. I don't feel there is competition because... We're different people, right, yeah. and we also, there's enough to go around, you know, exactly. I always think that. And I always talk about, you know, girl power and supporting women, so, you know, I always try to practice what I preach in that sense. So, I mean, there was never any weirdness about that, and I know that Claudia is going to do so well. She's, I mean, I've already said all those things that I love about her, and I just think you should absolutely do it, and <laughs> you're doing it, and I'm really happy about it, so... Yes, I think, you know, as soon as you kind of take away any, like, jealousy, if that's what it is. Yeah, like envy. Envy, you can support... What? As soon as you take that negative energy away and replace it with some positive, better things can come out of it. Sure. You can succeed, I can succeed, we can all try to succeed, so... Exactly. That's how I feel about that. It's a teamwork. Definitely, it makes it's the dream, dream work. work. Let's talk about body confidence quickly. Yeah. Because I'm short and stout, and Claudia is long lanky. and lean. Lanky. But I don't even see like the differences in our body at all. I think the way we carry each other, no, no, no. There is a visual part of it, but I think that it's the way you carry yourself. Like, you don't, like, you're like, oh, you're this and this. And I literally don't see what she sees in yeah. yourself. Yeah. I'm like, you're hot. Thank you. Like, when you were in your bikinis, I was like, <laughs> it's just like it's it's interesting i've never seen anyone that's looked like you before in real life I you're beautiful you really are it's it's amazing i think you're an absolute work of art and <laughs> back to the no jealousy thing i'm not jealous i literally look at claudia and i'm like wow it's so nice it's beautiful but like you're like an act. Look at you. You look a freaking Hollywood actress. And this. Look at you. Look at your face. <laughs> and look at the smile. <laughs> okay, this is the relationship we have. And it's not like this. The camera doesn't even have to be here. This is how we talk to each other on a daily basis. So what we're trying to say is, we want a Netflix show, and if any of you guys can provide that, let us know. We're ready. We are ready at any time. We'll drop everything and do mm -hmm. the show because I think we are uh, sensational. Exactly. And with that, I think it's time to wrap it up. I, like I said, would love you to go check out Cloud's channel. And you can also subscribe to her on Instagram. She's Cloudy at Cloud. Yes, she is. You can check out her dog, Nim. And her dog's name is Nimbus, mm -hmm. like a cloud, because her name is Claudia. And I have a cloud on my body. And she has a cloud tattoo. And I like to be in the clouds. So there we go. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see us do any other videos together, let us know. Um, have a great day. Bye. Bye. Let's do a thumbnail. <coughs> smile, <coughs> smile, smile. <laughs> Let's look at each other into each other's eyes. a clickbait is this a clickbait is this a clickbait <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm sure we got it